Hey everyone, us over at Frame Raided here. Before we dive into the hype hurricane that is the rumoured RTX 5080, let's get real for a second. We're talking pre-release whispers here, folks. This isn't gospel. Treat this info like that friend of a friend who knows a guy at NVIDIA. It's interesting, but take it with a grain of salt. Or maybe the whole shaker. These leaks, while juicy, could be misdirection, wishful thinking, or just plain wrong. Remember the RTX 4080 12 gigabyte debacle? Yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But hey, speculation is half the fun, right? So with that disclaimer out of the way, buckle up. We're about to dissect the rumor mill and see what tasty morsels we can find about the RTX 5080. Will it be a titan in disguise? Will it melt our wallets and motherboards? Let's find out. All right, let's get down to brass tacks. What monstrous specs is the RTX 5080 rumored to be packing? Hold on to your hats, people, because if the whispers are true, we're talking about a potential monster. First up, the heart of the beast, the GPU itself. Leaks suggest a massive leap to a whopping 20,000 CUDA cores. That's right, 20,000. To put that into perspective, the RTX 4090 rocks only 16,384. Now what about VRAM? The rumor mill whispers sweet nothings of 24 gigabytes of GDDR7 VRAM. Not only is that a bump in capacity, but GDDR7 is expected to be significantly faster than the GDDR6X in the 40 series. And what about those all-important ray tracing and AI capabilities? Hold on to your horses because we're talking potentially double the ray tracing cores and a significant jump in tensor cores compared to the already impressive 40 series. This thing could be a ray tracing and AI powerhouse. Now for the million dollar question, or should I say the several thousand dollar question. Price. NVIDIA's recent track record doesn't exactly inspire confidence in budget-minded gamers. The 40 series launch left many wallets feeling lighter than a feather in a hurricane. Rumors suggest the RTX 5080 could launch at a wallet-busting $1,500. That's a tough pill to swallow, even for hardcore enthusiasts. However, some optimistic whispers suggest potential competition from AMD's RDNA four cards could keep NVIDIA's pricing in check. As for the release date, the rumor mill is swirling with speculation. Some say late 2024, others whisper mid-2025. One thing's for sure, if you're planning on snagging one of these beasts at launch, be prepared to camp out online or shell out some serious cash to scalpers. Okay, let's overall talk performance. On paper, the RTX 5080's rumored specs are drool-worthy. We're talking potential 4K gaming at 120 plus frames per second with ray tracing cranked to the max on many current titles. Imagine Cyberpunk 2077 with every neon sign reflecting in puddles, every ray-traced hair on your customized V blowing in the Night City wind. The jump from the 40 series to the 50 series could be monumental, especially if NVIDIA really pushes the architectural improvements and efficiency. We could be looking at a generational leap similar to the jump from the GTX 10 series to the RTX 20 series, which introduced real-time ray tracing to the masses. But let's be realistic. Game developers need time to harness the power of new hardware. We might not see the full potential of the RTX 5080 until a year or two after its release. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither are next-gen games. Let's address the elephant in the room, NVIDIA's pricing. In recent generations, they've been pushing the limits of what gamers are willing to pay. The 40 series, while powerful, came with a hefty price tag that left many gamers feeling priced out. The question is, will NVIDIA continue this trend with the 50 series? The rumored $1,500 price tag for the RTX 5080 suggests they might. However, there's always hope that competition from AMD, Intel's Arc Alchemist, GPUs gaining traction, or even just public pressure could encourage NVIDIA to offer more competitive pricing. One thing is clear, NVIDIA needs to find a balance between delivering cutting-edge performance and keeping their products accessible to a wider audience. After all, what good is a super-powerful graphics card if only a select few can afford it? So, what does the RTX 5080 mean for gamers? If the rumors hold true, we could be on the cusp of a new era of PC gaming. Imagine a world where 4K 120Hz gaming with ray tracing is the norm, where AI upscaling makes games look even more stunning without tanking your frame rate. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. The high price of entry could further divide the PC gaming community. Those who can afford the latest and greatest will experience gaming nirvana, while others are left behind, stuck with aging hardware or forced to upgrade at exorbitant costs. The RTX 5080 represents both the incredible potential and the potential pitfalls of the PC gaming industry. 
We can only hope that NVIDIA, along with game developers and other hardware manufacturers, will work to create a future where everyone can experience the magic of gaming, regardless of their budget. Well, folks, that's all we have for you today in this video update. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and subscribe to help support the channel. We appreciate each and every single one of you.